Before the weatherman, I look at tomorrow night on BBC One, and tomorrow's world at seven o'clock includes putting to practical use that shimmering effect on your television often caused by loud check jackets and known as strobing. Top of the Pops at 7.25 includes David Essex, Ultravox and Madness. And at 8.10, another ripping adventure yarn in Tales of the Gold Monkey. After the 9 o'clock news, in Tenko at 9.25, young Bobby and his mother Lillian are faced with open hostility. Claire Brooks, Sir Patrick Meany and MPs Peter Shaw and Peter Walker face up to question time with Robin Day at 10.20. And finally, at 11.20, there's international show jumping from Olympia. Now, the weather prospects from Michael Fish. Good evening to you. What with stories of vehicles getting bowled over on the M1 this afternoon, we've certainly had some very windy weather indeed. In fact, we have had winds of the order of 70 and 80 miles an hour. And it's going to stay very windy both tonight and tomorrow, although perhaps the wind's easing off just a little bit. There's another important change incidentally taking place and that all hinges on this cold front which is moving quite quickly down from the north in those strong winds and as its name implies it's bringing a change to much colder weather to most parts of the country and it should be out of the way probably during the uh, middle part of tomorrow and then for the next couple of days we'll all find ourselves in quite a stiff run of cold northwesterly winds and they'll bring through a fair number of wintry showers, quite a bit of snow in fact in northern areas especially over the hills before perhaps later in the weekend we see a return to milder weather. But let's now look at the picture for midday tomorrow, and as I said a while ago, really not much of a change. Still a fair number of isobars, the wind streaming in from the northwest, so a cold and fairly bleak day in store. And I think bleak is certainly the word for the weather as far as tonight goes, especially in the northern half of the country, where that cold weather getting well and truly bedded in now. There'll be a fair number of showers around, I think, in those parts. Many of the showers wintry, that means sleet and snow, and with the very strong winds, especially over the hills, that snow will be drifting. In the more southern areas, it's fairly mild at the moment, and in fact, in the far south, it'll stay mild and windy throughout the night with some rain from time to time. But in the more central parts, your weather will turn more showery and colder as the night goes on, and over the mountains of Wales especially, those showers will be turning out wintry before the night's out. And then tomorrow, southern parts of Wales and uh, southern parts of England starting off still fairly mild and cloudy with some outbreaks of rain. But I think you'll find as the day goes on that the rain will give way to brighter, uh, colder weather with some showers. And then really we're all in the same boat, a mixture of sunshine and showers. But the further north you are, so the heavier and more frequent the showers become. And they turn wintry too. So in the north there'll be a fair bit of snow coming in those showers. And that snow on the hills especially drifting in the strong winds. Well, the time now is very nearly 13 minutes past midnight, the end of our evening on BBC One. Radio Two, I'm sure, would be glad of your company throughout the night, particularly Brian Matthew at the moment, who's on the air for another 45 minutes or so until one o'clock. I hope we can look forward to having you back with us on BBC One sometime tomorrow night. Meanwhile, I'd like to wish you a very good night. Good night. <laughs>